Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight this morning. Today, I want to share with you a devotion on to be good at loving others, you have to practice. You have to practice. The Bible tells us in John chapter 4, quite a number of verses. Follow me if you may. Verses 7 to 8 says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not have love does not know God, because God is love. It's very easy, isn't it? If we truly know God, God's word to you and I is that just as I love you, love one another. Verses 11 to 12 says, Dear friends, again, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Verse 12, No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives. You say one more time. If we love one another, God lives in us, and His love is made complete in us. Verses 16 to 17 says, And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. So this is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. Amen? When we face God one day, when we see God face to face one day, He will ask us, why, why, when we are on earth and live here, we have not learned to love one another, forgive one another, extend grace one to another. We all will give an account one day. So therefore, love one another. Practice to love is not easy. Some people are just difficult to love. You know what? But a man truly have experienced and joy and are grateful for the love and the forgiveness of God will learn, will be willing to extend grace one to another. Amen? So therefore, love, one more time, love is a skill that you and I have to learn. It is not automatic because human beings are always selfish, are always judgmental, critical, and all the time think that we are better than other person and it is our right and that's pride. If you struggle to love well, here's some good news. Love is learned. One more time. Love is learned. That means more. the more you practice, the better you will become in the ability, with the ability to learn to love people and learn to love one another. No matter how you have learned and been loved, and have uh, uh, in, uh, be, uh, in the past, you can become amazing. You can become good. You can become better at loving one another. You know, in fact, God wants you to become a master and skill in learning to love people. And He wouldn't tell you to love others if He wasn't going to help you to do just that in your life in my life. Yet many people never learn how to love people, how to learn to extend love one to another. Do you want to be known as a person of extraordinary love and embracement to people around you and I? When people speak of how you love others, do you want them to say he loves regardless of where you have been? Or she loves no matter what you have done. Do you want to be remembered of how much you own and accomplish? Or do you want to be remembered of how much you love people? God's Word and the Holy Spirit will teach you and I, will enable you and I to love people. But to become Amazing to be a come, become extraordinary at it. You and I need to practice it over and over and over and over again. We have a lifetime when we're on this earth. The day we came to know Jesus to the day we die, to the day we go back to eternity. 
It is a learning. It is a practice. It is a growing. It is a transforming process in our lives to be a better person, to learn, to love, and embrace people. So therefore, it may feel awkward at first as you learn to love with a greater capacity. You know, then is humanly possible. Sometimes it's very tough. It's very difficult. Some people are so uh, unkind. Some people are so difficult to love. But if you depend on and rely on the powerful supernatural love of God. To work through you and me, the more we love like this, the more we are better, you know, willing to love people without any condition. The Bible says in 1 John 4 verse 7, that love comes from God. When you practice and commit to loving others like Jesus love you and like Jesus love me, you know, uh, the more we will take notice and they will be drawn to God because of your love. The people around you, the more you and I will take notice of one another, you know, and people will be drawn to you and I, people so that people can be drawn to God, that God is love, that God lives in us and God changes us. God helps us to become a better person. And people will see the Lord and the God that you and I believe in. It's an amazing, it's a powerful, it's a forgiving, it's a loving, it's a kind God that loved the whole world just as they are. But yet, when we receive Him, He will come into our life and change us to be whom He wants us to be and become. Amen? As the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So therefore, let me say, ask you this question. Do you find it difficult to love people? Some people are difficult to love. Some people are really, you know, unkind, are really rude, are really a pain to us. But you know what? You can still love them just as Jesus loved us and loved them. Amen? So let's pray. Father, we pray that you help us to learn to love people the way they are. Learn to improve in embracing in accepting in loving and in and caring one for another especially when we serve as a church as we serve as a family of believers in tabernacle worship father we pray that you will help us give us a grace as we learn to rely and trust in your love as we grow in our love to you and for you lord your love will amazingly change us to be whom you want us to be in our lives for your glory. This we pray and ask and bless us with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. You have a great day and God bless you. Amen.